guys, so I'm starting out with the skin and I am priming with my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade. And then for foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the Matte and Poreless. This is one of the lighter shades, I believe it's shade 110, but I'll link it down below. And I'm just using a Real Techniques buffing brush just to stipple this and buff this onto my skin. This is a really good yellow based fair foundation if anyone is looking for one. Moving on to the eyes, I'm priming using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as per usual, just creating a base for the eyeshadows. And then I'm going in with the 35O palette from Morphe and I'm first just taking this shade as a base colour. It's just like a skin tone shade for me, so I'm just applying this from the lid to the brow bone. Then I'm going in with this transition shade. It's just a light, sort of warm toned brown. I don't know why I can't get my words together. And I'm just using an E40 brush from Sigma to buff this into my crease. I'm then taking this medium toned cool tone brown and I'm just buffing this into the outer corner and just bringing it in through the crease just to add a bit of a cool tone colour to the look. Um, just because I wanted it to not be so warm toned because I always do warm toned looks. And then I'm going in with a darker brown which is again a cool tone brown and I'm just building this up right in that outer V and I'm using a MAC 217 brush to do this. And I am just bringing it into the crease a little bit but mainly keeping it in the outer corner. The next shade I'm taking from the palette is this darker cool tone brown shade and I'm just again building this up in the outer corner. I just wanted to create some dimension in the look so using different tones and different shades really helps to do that. And then just going back in with the E40 brush from Sigma to blend those shades together. And then I'm taking this beautiful like bronzy metallic shade and I'm first using my finger to start packing this onto the lid. And I go in with my 217 brush again just to blend the edges. But I wanted the look to be more foiled so I took some MAC Fix Plus on a flat shader brush and just really made that colour stand out and look super foiled and metallic. And I really like how it turned out by doing that. And then once again, just going in and making sure the edges are all nice and blended. And then to highlight the brow bone, I'm just taking this light champagne shade and I'm just applying this underneath my brow to give it a little bit of a metallic pop. And then going in with some black liner, this one's from Rimmel. I'm just messily lining my lash line and I'm going to tight line in my upper waterline with this just to create thicker looking lashes and then I did take a little flat brush just to smudge out that liner on the lash line to make it look nice and smoky. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes and coating them with some mascara. I'm just using this one from Rimmel. Um, it's called the Super Curler. And then I'm going in with falsies. I'm using my Vegas Nay Shining Star Lashes and just applying those to give the look a bit more drama. To conceal, I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm. I'm just applying this all underneath the eyes and all down the center of my face just to highlight and conceal basically. It's not really doing any highlighting because it is basically the same color as my skin when I'm fair, but I just took it down there anyway and I'm just buffing it out using a contour brush from Real Techniques. And then to set everything, I'm just using the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dolce de Leash, I think it's called. And I'm just setting that using a Morphe brush. Then I'm going in with this Hourglass Palette and I'm taking this Dim Light shade, I think it's called. And I'm just setting the rest of my face to give it a nice glowy kind of look. Then to contour, I'm taking the Makeup Geek Contour Pan in Bad Habit. And I am just using a Nude by Nature angled blush brush to carve out my cheekbones and just sort of bronze up around my face to give me a little bit of color. And then to highlight I'm taking Becca and Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop and just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones and the center of my face, just all the normal areas where I usually highlight. Then to add some colour to my cheeks, I'm using this Milani Baked Blush. I forget the name, but I'll have it linked down below. It's a super corally pink shade. And then to set everything, I'm just taking the All Nighter Spray from Urban Decay. 
And then moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking that darker cool tone brown we used in the crease and I'm just buffing this right underneath the lower lash line. And then going in with that um, transition shade that we used earlier, I'm just buffing this really messily under the lash line just to sort of blend everything together. And then going in with the darkest cool tone brown, I'm just building this up in the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then just once again making sure everything is super blended and then I'm taking the bronzy metallic shade once again just on the same brush I used on my lid and I'm just buffing this messily underneath the lower lash line. And then to highlight I took MAC Nylon Eyeshadow because I wanted a really poppin' inner corner highlight. And then I just took a brown cold pencil from Rimmel and just lined my waterline and for lipstick I applied this Milani matte lipstick in I believe it's called matte blissful I'll have the name linked down below and that completes the look I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video bye